I have been pretty pessimistic when it comes to Samsung's lineup of foldable phones, namely the Galaxy Z Fold series. Pessimistic is probably too nice of a word because when looking at the rest of the market, it is abundantly clear that Samsung is no longer the market leader. As the rumors and leaks made headlines, whatever excitement I had for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 quickly dissipated. And during Galaxy Unpacked, the larger foldable seemed like an afterthought, taking a backseat to the Galaxy Ring and even the Galaxy Z Flip 6. I understand that Bucastel foldable phones aren't as popular likely due to their higher prices, along with the fact that not everyone wants or cares about the benefits of having a mini tablet that fits in your pocket. So while many, including my colleague Derek, prefer a flip phone, it's just not my cup of tea. Samsung announced the Galaxy Z Fold 6 at its unpacked event on July 10 alongside an array of additional Galaxy devices. The phone is currently available for pre-order ahead of its launch on July 24, with a starting price of US$1899 for the 256GB base model and maxing out at US$2259 for the 1TB version. Additionally, there are a total of 5 colors to choose from pink, navy, silver, shadow, crafted black, and white. However, the latter two colors are only available if you purchase the Galaxy Z Fold 6 directly from Samsung's website. As smartphones look more and more alike, so manufacturers differentiated their designs with unusual and sometimes ill-conceived camera arrays. If I were in charge, I'd aim for stability or at least what Samsung has done with the Galaxy Z Fold 6, polish and professionalism. The three camera area on the back is prominent, but I like how each lens looks a bit like a prosumer camera lens. That's the good news. The not so good news is that Samsung didn't do much to upgrade this array and the cameras on the last Z Fold 5 were a disappointment. This is essentially the same camera specs as you'll find on the Samsung Galaxy S24. Here is how the three cameras break down. 50 megapixel wide angle, f1.8 aperture, 12 megapixel ultra wide, f2.2 aperture, f field of view is 123 degrees, 10 megapixel 3s optical zoom with aperture 2.4. It's a good set of cameras and I took dozens of lovely photos in Paris under all sorts of conditions. Colors and sharpness are good across the board. Low light performance is generally fine. Macro photography is non-existent. Portrait mode image of people and pets was gorgeous. I'm especially impressed with the color quality and details. This is clearly due to Samsung's significantly updated Pro Visual Engine which is the computational bit of a Samsung smartphone photography pipeline. It just gets better and better at understanding reality. That's it, Samsung still makes skies too blue. Here is some camera samples of Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is Samsung's most comprehensively thought-out foldable to date. The cleaner, more pro design looks fantastic. It's comfortable to hold and pocket and is far more versatile than your average phone. It's thinner with a less noticeable crease and that's a major bonus. So is the banked-in Galaxy AI, which is not always useful but can be tremendous fun. 
The cameras could be better, but I still like the images they capture. The price may be my single biggest sticking point, but you may want to hunt for good deals because the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is so worth it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.